Hey, this is Danielle Zana. I'm actually doing a vlog. <laughs> this time, yes, it's about David fucking Cameron again. And, um, some brilliant, bright, sparky ears. The sarcasm. Even though I sometimes find it difficult to understand that human concept. But, uh, I'm learning anyway. But, um, what is he doing now? Well, apparently, I didn't know anything about this. This is kind of like, you know, kind of kept in public. <laughs> kept really from public. Um, that is changing the curriculum of schools. Um, now, um, I originally mentioned about, um, Actually, lowering the lowering the standard of education, but that's not just it. That's not just it. Um, you know, lowering the standard of education so people are more gullible. Uh, people um, they don't think, they don't learn how to think, they only learn what to think. Now, um, the, the the problem is with this new curriculum is the Arts and music have been removed from the curriculum. So anyone who's going into school and that and who wants to do art or music, they can't do it anymore. Um, it's basically what they had done in South Africa way back, and they seem to be doing it in this country. You know, I was right when I mentioned that um, David Cameron um, is actually making England. And be more like what South Africa was, which is why the, one of the reasons why I left South Africa to go to England. Um, now, the thing is, I never, I had this talent uh, or skills called art, and um, only now, only now, I'm getting the opportunity to to really um, stretch my um my um my art uh, because I because of the, the the way the cost of materials and things like that I couldn't do oil paintings I couldn't do ceramics I couldn't do prints I couldn't do this I was really uh, limited to uh pencil drawings and then um doing art on the computer mainly uh through the manipulation but um, I've basically expanded my I think, now skills. Now I didn't have the, this at school um, because they had removed it from the curriculum. And I feel that if I was brought up in the England English um, schooling system, I'll be pretty far today than what I am. I'd be pretty far than what I am today um, as an artist and um, the thing is um, and it's something that I really liked when I came here um, is that I had art as a, a part of the curriculum now David Cameron is now wanting to remove it and his reason of removing it say it's not important in the ideology of uh, the economy and the whole money structure or system. So basically, he, as, in, as I mentioned before, he wants to lower the, the standards of education and also stripping people from expressing the creativity. Now, as you know, I having problem, have had problems with censorship with my art, where I my art is way um, advanced um, to the mentality or the ideology that exists in the so-called um, perception of um, what they call it um, decency, which is um, it, an illusion um, to sort of like more of a corporate um, acceptance of art. And... Um, 
my works pretty admirable. I said I got the inspi inspiration from an Ananya, my an extraterrestrial star mother. And um, I found it quite unique and interesting that um, an Ananya would focus on art and uh, inspire me to do art. And, and then later on, um, seeing that art is getting censored, bashed, even even artists, uh, the whole respect or the uh, the perception of artists uh, still being looked himself as being looked as um, people with skill and, um, and and abilities of actually creating something. Um, we are now looked at as um, you know bums, nobodies. Uh, because it does not fit with the whole commercial money diseased paradigm of um, society uh, very much what Cameron is kind of focusing on now he basically you know allegedly is part of the conservative party now as as you know um, openly speaking um, you know, for example, um, you know, conservative. Um, I thought they were supposed to try and conserve the English culture. You know, that was supposed to be their, um, their, you know. And why is it that um, they're stripping the youth from being able to be creative, develop the, the creative skills, and things like that? Um, it's really um, and I am honestly so annoyed, so mad at this, because I know I wish I had the opportunity. Um, what the children had, or had had recently, when I arrived in the UK, is having art as a um, part of the curriculum. And um, I used to, uh, I had to do um, the only subjects I liked was. Um, Science and biology, um, which actually I did well in, and I got into university, and I got a, a bachelor of science degree, um, which with um, zoology. Um, yeah, I've mentioned biology and science, um, zoology, and um, a bit of chemistry, and um, what else? And, and a bit of computer science. And um, I see the thing is um, that even even the maths is changing the way the maths are done. Um, it's really, you know, um, and even the science uh, is brought out that um, certain science projects that are not in aid of profits or generating money um, will be scrapped. So everything is just basically following the money disease, and it just makes me so sick. This, so sick. Of, this is actually a fall of um, human civilization, um, especially when you strip the whole creativity um, things and um, and you know um, being. Yeah, it was quite a part of my childhood trauma was not being able to express my artwork, especially me with a, you know being creative and then inspired by an extraterrestrial, um, you know, express their um, this her star culture and all that and um, seeing the images what I saw the hologram were very controversial. The ideology um, of this planet uh, with sensuality, intimacy, and things like that, which is, I'm still, even to this day and age, I'm still having problems with. It's like, you know, my, my parents just burn the work and all that, and then Facebook removing. It's like, I, I'd honestly, now, now this whole thing of removing art from the um, 
curriculum would cause a problem that um, less people will be able to understand art and when it comes to the, the topic that is very controversial to the religio-political ideology that's enforced onto people to conform and to be manipulated and exploited by the religio-political elite who have the privilege of doing art and being creative and all that they want to strip everybody from that and, and people are just nothing but um, what you call it uh, corporate drones in a grey boring um, environment where the whole purpose of living is to earn a living make money and all that shit not even to enjoy life um, because they've got delusion of religion like oh you know life here is hell so when you die you go to heaven kind of shit um, the thing is um, that is all bullshit that's a delusion but once you die you, you, you finish and it, even though I know understand this I get driven to the point of depression that, um, that you know that this, sometimes life is by these bureaucratic religious political elites how they try and ruin my life um, in every angle um, that they um, you know, reach the point that I get urged to do suicide because not even existing but being dead finished over um, would end the suffering um, that they are imposed that, that even when you try and be happy you try and um, enjoy the finer things in life they come and um, take away your happiness and you know you shouldn't be happy you should be miserable um, you, you should must suffer um, you know things like that um, this is what David Cameron is all about so this, as well as breaking false promises um, and um, breaking false breaking promises um, bringing false gifts and providing deception um, David Cameron is also um, you know as a dictator is also stripping the whole creativity you know, from the people and um, this has been passed um, in Parliament, so there's no real peti pe no petition or anything yet to vote against it. Now, this is also another thing when it comes to whole de democracy, so being a delusion. Um, you say democracy is built right? Yes. Oh, it's actually basically um, good on the outside, but all what you ta as a, as a as a human being or a civilian in a dem democratic society is the only thing what, what the, the individual can do is vote a political puppet that's all you that's the only right you have um, you can't you you actually silence from voicing opinion you actually silenced um, from providing ideas that could improve life for everybody you silence from that and that's that's the failure of democracy you only have the right to vote a political puppet that's it so you vote your political puppet and you just hope that, <laughs> that the political party that you represent uh, does a good job and make your life easier unfortunately um, all they think about is money and economy before people um, um, the, then people's well-being and the whole the purpose in life um, is um, doing what you do um, it's not to make money um, 
that that is something that's supposed to be secondary in you know society but um and it's and now this day and age people are supposed to be involved out of the money system in in economy system that sounds up that should, that that is because it's so primitive it's so vile it's so barbaric um that it's it's it, it, it's stuck in this it's stuck like that and uh, why I'm saying this is um, Nikola Tesla was the genius that would have um, elevated um, humanity to a sort of like class one planet. Um, you know, mentioned for example in a video about maybe the diff different uh, planets which are class like class one planet. Um, um, you know. They kind of like they can they can explore out their their their, 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 their planet and then and live in the solar system. Uh, class two planet is like a planet where um, where people reach the point of exploring beyond the solar system and then integrating with um, many different extraterrestrial civilian societies and cultures and. Um, and then a class three planet is um, beyond the galaxy, so integrating with uh, societies and cultures and things, um, and sort of a galaxy cluster and beyond, um, you know, through the universe and and even going into um, as um, the whole debate in what a universe is is very blurred. Um, from the um, historical entomology point of view to the recent modern thing where you have the multiverse because when you dissect this definition of the universe it means like infinity is actually the universe in, in that, the old outlook um, the newish outlook um, defines the universe as a portion or a brain of um, a structure um, you know, a defined structure that, that you can see like, oh, that's the universe, that's the universe, that's in a multiverse, um, through infinity. But infinity is always infinity, regardless of the theory. So, um, that's the thing. Um, but, um, yeah, you've got your different class planets, and this is a zero class planet, because they're still on fossil fuels, they're still using a monetary economy system and um, people like David Cameron is just rolling the planet back into the Stone Age. It's already on the turning point of Victorian times again. Uh, roll back to Victorian times and more people are tight and that then it goes into a middle age. And if that goes on and then and nothing's changed, real positive. Then it rolls back to the Stone Age, um, as the saying goes. But uh, but a new but if there's a nuclear war that breaks out, that totally rolls back even further, um, where where um, the genes of life on this planet um, to adapt to the the whole high levels of radiation. Uh, you know, basically, life on this planet will be lowered to, you know, to the lower life forms. <laughs> and, um, and there's no uh, um, extraterrestrials that would help um, or speed up um, or bioengineer the evolutionary process. So, um, it's just going to be slower than... Um, <laughs> slower than anything. Um, um, if 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 it was just evolution alone uh, for recovery of life, uh, I honestly think you know um, this planet would just be left alone, or probably um, way back um, uh, some other extraterrestrials might um, start creating life there again. So. Um, so that is quite something I'm going to say is, um, you know, David Cameron is dangerous to the UK and the planet. And, um, 
and this is you know it's just totally absurd to hear that um you know something that I wish I had the opportunity um of of having art as a subject would have got me further in life um than what I am today. I would be integrating you know i be tra I would have been traveling around the planet making doing exhibitions maybe doing music um maybe I'll be a a pop star um if I had the opportunity and um regard you know I'll have to get um you know people on the internet uh, that's why I use the internet um to get known but even though I, even people on the internet um try and squash me and all that and I have to rebuild you know like a fan base again I've got to rebuild um, you know contact I've got to remake friends again and all that and uh, students like it pretty big again shit happens again um, you know <sighs> honestly I don't know and then um, it's also another thing is um, you know um, my parents played a role in it as well um, they did not want to support my arts and talents as well um, completely um, because the stuff that I created was controversial to the police and they were afraid of me um, the things I was coming up with with the extraterrestrials and all that and then they would see UFOs and things like that and I got petrified and then my mother that would bring up the whole demon angel bullshit and all that um, and you know I basically left all that and then I'd come online and I see basically uh, reliving my childhood again but in a larger scale um, which is very frustrating Okay, what I mentioned, you know, websites deleting my stuff and banning me and things like that because of my art. That's one, and um, also my uh, gender issues. Um, then it's exactly the same. My husband, my parents, then corporations like the energy companies and things like that. Um, I phone them up to get update them with my details and everything. Um, to send the bills and that in my name, Danielle Matt. They refuse to do exactly what my parents have done or still doing today. They refuse to accept me as Danielle. Um they just say let us be occupied on and um I'm, the thing is I just have a because of my post traumatic stress disorder, I have a panic attack and all I do is just shove the letters in the um the shredder. Um, so I don't, I'm actually, when I think about it, I'm actually petrified that they're going to get the courts on me and all that. And, um, I'm, I'm trying to get help with that. And it's, I'm just getting worse. The, my, everything with the money disease, the people just treat you like a cash cow, a machine, a, a farm animal. Something to explore, something to milk from. I'm a crazy person. I'm not the crap. I'm not the that. Um, that's why um, when things get really bad, I just want to end my life because um, oh, I want to just slip. In. And then don't come with me with this, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know. Victim philosophy bullshit. Honestly, I do not choose that. I am just being who I am, and um, and it's just different people who just don't like what I do, don't like me being happy, don't like what I create. They come along. It's it's completely their own consciousness bubble, which is of a low vibration, coming to and attacking my consciousness bubble. Um. And I didn't, I did not, I do not want them to affect me. I just want to get on with my life, to help with anybody else. 
um, yes, I do care for people, more, but I mean, I just want to, I don't, I, I just don't want any bullshit. I'm sick of this bullshit. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna say. Is um, I'm really David Cameron. It, it's actually, it's actually re get me to the point where I honestly wish somebody, I wish somebody would just assassinate me. Um, although I don't like killing and things like that, but the thing is, he's causing more damage to people's lives in the long run, and in my life as well. And um, honestly, actually, it would be better if you if you step down and retired. But honestly, because he's so hooked up in the money disease, he's sick of money. He's actually absolutely sick from money and, and, and um, greed and things like that. Then he wouldn't let go. And um, yeah, that's, that's what I gotta say. Um, honestly, I don't know. Sometimes when I think about it, it just it just blows my mind. The most stupidest thing that comes from that man. And the thing is, I what what the thing is, I don't have a say in anything. And yet he goes and sits in Parliament. And he pushes this and he pushes that bullshit he push, and it affects my life, it affects everybody. Uh, you know, is, is, is that democracy? Um, honestly, that's why I support very much um, um, with the Valiant Movement stuff. Um, um, one of the books is called Geniocracy, and uh, it kind of shows. A lot of people have been frowning upon the moon and not really understand it. But this is one of the things that it shows, um, you know, um, with people, with the arts and the sciences, are uh, because it's reality. And even though with art, we imagine and create fantasy and all that, um, um, but that the fantasy inspires. Um, creative thinking to produce something that is real, that is scientific, that is an invention, that will change life and better humanity. And um, this whole money thing, it, it's completely poisonous, it's toxic. Advertising itself um, is nothing but visual pollution. Uh, it's basically rotten art. It, it's art that's that's sick. It's and it's exploiting artists. Um, I can't stand advertising. I actually block it all out when I'm on the internet. Um, I hate it. Um, I t I just keep the TV on for my cat mainly because um, the cat likes watching it. Um, but um, I don't really watch it because I'm always working on the computer. It's just background noise, and I leave it on for the cat. Um, it helps the cat to be occupied when I go out. Because my poor thing, uh, every time I go out, he cries. Meow, 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 meow. Cries. There we go. Here's the kitty cat. Yeah, kitty cat. Yes, very young the kitty cat. Meow meow. So there we have it. I think I've finished off. Um, so I've got to keep my cat entertained. Yes. Cat is just making pictures on the screen, you know. Cat doesn't, doesn't really understand. It. But anyway, I just hate advertising. And um, when I'm watching or engaging in something of interest, the most annoying thing is the ad. So, uh, advertising is basically killing art. 
um, and the money disease as well like people exhibit splashes on canvas for millions and millions and millions of pounds then you get an artist who does you spend so much time effort in something and they don't really recognize um, it's mostly the Spish Dutch artists. I call them Spish Dutch artists. Uh, they'd mainly do it. Uh, not to inspire or initiate thought in um, the spectator or the viewer of the art. They just do it for this. Money, money, money. You know, money is basically mass printed. Bullshit art. That's what it is.